Okay, here's a brief tutorial on how I make iron oxide. Okay, basically we start out is with a bucket of water, two uh, steel bars. You could use uh, screws, bolts, nuts. You can use all sorts of things for your electrodes. Um, and a 12 volt battery charger. Uh, basically, as you can see, we just connected the two bars to the positive and negative. Uh, you just want to make sure your bars aren't touching. Um, and then you basically just add salt to the uh, water. And as you're adding the salt, uh, you want to steer it around and you want to keep an eye on the amperage of your uh, battery charger. As you'll notice, as the more salt you add, the higher the needle goes up. Where you want it to be at is about 2 amps, because if you go over 2 amps, you're going to have problems uh, later on. Um, if you start out with 2, two, it seems to hold pretty good. But if I go over 2, it causes my battery charger to overload and it keeps shutting itself on and off. Another sign to tell you that it's working is you'll notice uh, bubbles start forming. Uh, real tiny little bubbles and they'll get more uh, vigorously as it goes on. Okay, and then it's just a waiting game. I took about uh, 12 hours on this batch, um, but you can basically go pretty far. You can go 24 hours even further. It just depends on uh, how long your electrodes will last. Um, then when that's done, you uh, what I did is I poured into a t-shirt um, to filter out the water, then uh, dry it. Okay, currently the battery died on me. Well, get back to what I was saying. Well, I've been looking on YouTube about the past month or so, and I saw, came across Dan with Inverse Engineering. I think it's called Solid State Skateboards or something like that. This is YouTube page. And that got me interested in rocketry again. I used to fly uh, those, like most kids did, the SD rockets. And then I moved up into the higher Aerotech uh, RMS engine. But then after you uh, mess up with a couple of them, and they end up in the middle field somewhere where you can never find the $80 you spent for that engine casing. It can get a little expensive. Uh, so, I've been away from the rocket for probably about uh, seven years now. So I figured I'd get back in. But this time, I'm going to try to make my own motors. And scale up a lot larger. Uh, okay, well this is how much we've got so far. It's quite a bit. Uh, let's cook it down and see what we end up with. There's awful a lot more here I could scrape off, but we'll see what we got here first before I get down that far. I stuck it in this toaster oven at the highest temperature to evaporate off the water. Okay, it appears looks like we're done. Everything's a little crunchy, so it's done. about a cup's worth. Maybe a little less on the cup. Alright, now I gotta put it in the ball mill. Okay. Here's what I'm using for my ball mill. That empty of course. Anyone out there knows what uh, this is for. Specifically I use it for my uh, AR-15 round. Because right now it's cheaper to make them than it is fun. And I did rinse the inside of this thing out and dry it, so just make sure there's no extra powder in there. Okay, now all we do. about right there okay now for my what I used to grind up inside 